Hello again. Oh wait. Three, two, one. Hello again. Today we're going to be doing yet another lab for our astronomy class. Yet again using Starwalk 2 and yet again using ProShot to take photos. Tonight's lab will be looking at using your phone to take a picture of the moon moving across the sky over the course of several minutes and maybe even hours. Uh, to do that, we need to figure out where the moon's going to be from your location. We'll do that. Oh no, my Pop-Tart box. We'll need this Pop-Tart box to be able to do the lab. The one that you used earlier. You might instead be using one of these phone stands. You might be using a tripod. but. For our lab today, we're going to go ahead and try and do it with the Pop-Tarts box that we picked out earlier. Alright, so first we need to find out where the moon's going to be. So I've launched Starwalk 2, and I will search for the moon. And I'll hold the phone up, and I see when I center on the moon, it's actually at the horizon or slightly below it. I can click on the button to tell me that, uh, oh, it looks like it's going to rise at 348, and it's not yet 348. So I'll need to be doing this lab a little bit later. How much later, though? Let's go back to here. Immediately after searching for the moon, before you hold the phone back up, you see a little time machine mode. I'll press the top right hand corner and then turn the dial on the right moving it up and down moving it up and down with my thumb to change what time it is on the phone and when I do that I see the, the spot that I was looking at before where the moon was in the sky I should see it around 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock at night. I go back into the tilting mode. It sets it back to now. And realize, alright, that's the path. That little orange dotted line represents the ecliptic, which is the path of the sun. And the moon kind of travels along the path of the sun, but not exactly. So there's the direction I want to be doing it, which means I need to set up my phone in ProShot uh, for that later. I'm going to do this out in the daytime so you can see it, uh, but then our actual shooting will be at night. So I'll go into ProShot mode. And while it's still in photo mode, while it's still in photo mode, I'll go to the autofocus and set that all the way up to 100. I'll make sure that uh, my timing, in this case, I'm going to go auto. The ISO, I'm going to set to about 100. And that should be good. We'll leave the color temperature and the, everything else alone. Now it's a matter of setting up the camera so it's pointing in the right direction. Here I've got my Pop-Tarts box, and I will switch to time-lapse mode. I think I'm going to go for an hour, and adjust it here, an interval of every, uh, let's go with every three seconds. And 24, I'm going to go for 30 frames a second. That's going to make a nice little 20 second video. I'll set it up here. Now I'm going to do a quick run of it while it's daytime just to see and make sure I did it right because it's going to be harder to do when it's nighttime. A lot harder. A lot harder. It will be much more difficult to do at night. I guarantee it. All right, now I've got to press the button 
lightly. And there I see already that I don't, it zooms in in the movie mode and it's not a little bit higher than I want it. So I'm going to go ahead in this one and figure out which angle I like it at. Let's try that again. And I can cut off the first few frames of that movie uh, when I'm doing it later. All right, so even though there's no, even though, oh shoot, I'm in the way of the video. Even though there's no uh, moon up right now, I can test to make sure that it's working and accurately taking a photo uh, to see if the frame of view uh, or the field of view of the camera is what I want for the shot later. And so you want to try and get that roughly right in, in terms of saying where it's going to be uh, now. And we'll come out a little bit later this evening and do this whole thing again uh, when the moon is actually coming up over the horizon, which based on looking at uh, Starwalk 2, uh, we should be doing that sometime after 7 o'clock. Alright, I'm going to let that camera keep shooting for about an hour, and when we're done, we'll take a look and see what that video looks like. You should be able to see the moon move across the sky pretty easily, and just watch the moon rise um, above your house, or your neighbor's house, or whatever building you happen to be hiding out in. I hope your video comes out well. Uh, all you really needed was your phone and the Pop-Tarts box and a charged phone or at least one of these little uh, battery packs if you didn't have a charged phone. I'm looking forward to seeing your videos.